Huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We are watching season two of Heartstopper today. It came out. It came out. Also, here's the thing. After I watched the first season, I did go out and purchase all of the graphic novels, um, but I haven't read them. <laughs> I don't know, normally I like to read the book first, but part of me also just doesn't want to get spoiled, maybe because I was introduced to this story through the TV show first. And I did debate reading the part that covers season one, but I knew, I knew if I started reading, I would not be able to stop, and then I would just read the entirety of this. So yeah, I don't really know what's coming, except for the fact that a lot of people on the season one video were commenting that I needed to get ready for a lot of pain. And you know what? That scares me. That scares me, because season one was fluffy. It was so fluffy, so happy, so comforting. And y'all are scaring me with this talk of pain. Also, to be quite honest, I don't know how much pain I can physically take right now, considering the fact I have not yet recovered from Good Omens season two finale. Uh, David Tennant, Michael Sheen, and Neil Gaiman completely shattered my frickin' heart. And part of me is hoping Heartstopper might be able to band-aid it back together. I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm about to get into, and I'm a little nervous. At the same time, I am so excited to be watching Nick and Charlie grace our screens again. Like, I just, I just want to exist in their happy little world for a bit. But before we get started watching it, I do want to take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs who want to stand out and succeed online. They have something called Fluid Engine, a next-generation website design system that allows you to customize every design detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology for desktop and mobile, which makes it perfect if you're looking to easily build a portfolio. And with their new asset library, you can upload, organize, and access all of your content from one central hub, and then use everything across the Squarespace platform. And with their video collection feature, you can host video content, organize your video library, and showcase your work on beautiful video pages. With Squarespace, you can make your idea, brand, or business stand out online. So if you want to build the website of your dreams, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then once you've created your website and you're happy with it and you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash fictional darling to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A huge thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And now, if y'all are ready to finally watch season two of Heartstopper for the very first time with me, let's go. Oh, the title for episode one. Ah, little alarmed by the, uh, the little TV 14 warning there. <laughs> like, what do you mean self-harm, guys? I freaking love the parallel to the season one opening. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them! Hi. Hi. That was such a cute ass moment. He had to find an empty classroom, no biggie. I came out to my mum last night. Oh my god, Olivia. how did it go? Really well, she was completely fine with it. <laughs> I love him. He waited, he waited to say that in person, because y'all were texting. Want a well done kiss? <laughs> He's like, yes, yeah. that's why I picked this empty storage closet. God, I need to watch Brideshead Revisited. What happened to the... Wasn't Andrew Garfield supposed to be in that? I love the editing. I love it. They could be just so happy as themselves in their little, like, safe room. Ah. And he's amazing. I mean... Tao. Love Isaac. What are you reading today, Isaac? I can't really tell. Are you giving Charlie relationship advice? Ah! Ritz. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just realized I forgot to turn subtitles off, but we're going with it now. Imitate Scottish accent. Is that what it was? I named him Brickman because that's where I want to live someday. You live in England and you want to come to America? Are you sure? You know what? It's fine. I'll trade places with you. That'll be totally okay. We'll just switch passwords. It'll be no biggie. I could dye my hair blonde. And if you have any romantic developments, I want to hear all about them. Are we doing this? They gave you guys a whole study hall for this? Man, we got tossed out on our own for exams. No. The vibe shift with the music. Whoever's in charge of sound mixing, that was a 10 out of 10 because the aggression, they brought it. Whoa. Oh. oh my God. And then that man is bringing it too. Jeez, this is so intense. No chatting, no phones. Oh my God, you're gonna no get your phone questions. taken away. I can't. Is this the time for this? I know we have to share the details immediately, but this teacher is kind of scary and he's coming closer. Nicholas Nelson. Hello, well, sir. I for the warning, seeing as I haven't quite finished listing my rules. If I catch you with that, that phone again, I'll be confiscating it. I believe you. I like your sweater vest, though. That was definitely rugby privileges, 100%. You're just gonna ignore me for two weeks, then? That's the plan, yeah. If you're trying to keep it quiet, you should probably stop acting so gay, fam. 
I will fight a man. You seem to remember saying something about no chatting. To be fair, Nick was not chatting. He was not chatting. <laughs> he was shutting it down. He's pulling the phone out. Y'all, I'm gonna scream. This teacher is gonna take your phone. Then he's gonna smack you with the ruler. I'm not messing with him. <laughs> She's like, yay, my bench warmer is back. Are you still in a mood of us? Oh my god. This kid was so annoying. Still in a mood? Yeah, I'm in the mood to punch you in the face, but you know, that's frowned upon in this establishment. My mom's been moaning at me to get a haircut. Your mom might know what's up, respectfully. You should do what you want. I vote we agree with your mom and we cut the hair, but that is just me. Got you a present. It's our two-month anniversary. It sounds silly when you say it like that. No, 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 no I just love how the present is Oreos. <laughs> Are those Oreos? And how did you know? This is my favorite chocolate bar. Chocolate bar? Oh, it's an Oreo and chocolate bar. You mentioned it ages ago. So. so I immediately wrote it down in my brain and basically tattooed it there. I love them. The kissing in the locker room is stressing me out though. I just, every time we're in the locker room, I'm stressed out for them. The rugby lads got me so scared. Hi, totally normal, just sharing an Oreo. The way the music was like building up and they were having like such a moment and that person probably did not notice or if they did notice they were minding their business as they should that's why we shouldn't kiss at school oh, oh i love so them fun. you getting out here because we get caught kissing is not he knows he knows he's been there if we're out by the time we're on the paris trip we can uh, kiss on the eiffel tower i mean honestly even if you're not you could probably still kiss on the eiffel tower and that's how you announce it that's style that's pizzazz that's the french no more kissing at school too risky. I do really love how they're in on this as a team though. I really love that. You kind of have like a David Tennant physique, kid. You can invite some of your friends over. I treasure my alone okay. time. Tori is me. Truly me. Hi. I make cupcakes. Wow. <laughs> Look at Tori. She's a shipper at heart. I see it. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, Isaac. <laughs> Isaac with his book as everyone is coupling up is the most relatable thing. At least Isaac is there. I'm glad that they invited him. Does she, uh, nope, goes. so now the vibe has shifted. It'll be fine. She's an ally. <laughs> I should not have laughed at that. I'm so sorry. Ooh. <laughs> My generation was a little bit before this, but that was a very relatable line. I do love this writing. I love his shirt. I want it. I love her outfit too, honestly. The vibes here are impeccable. You and Elle have been doing work like all afternoon. I was trying to get into this prestigious art college. <laughs> that is the unfortunate art student way. Everyone else is having fun and you are forever doing work, all the time. Do you think it's going to be weird for you if you're apart next year? We're not dating. Oh no, I- She's I... my friend. Yes, it would still be weird if your best friend left. It's none of your business. Okay, he was being friendly. He was just being friendly. Oh, I forgot the vibes between them were rough at best. I love how the movie is playing and Isaac is still reading. It's, it's kind of hard to- Is it about you and Charlie? Oh. Oh god, the ally speaks. Oh my god. You didn't like me because you're gay. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm bisexual, actually. <laughs> actually, I'm bi, I just didn't like you. Just, you know, just let's establish that one. Okay, we at least got a hug. I'm sorry, I don't actually know how to react. Oh, a hug is fair. Now you know about Charlie, you have to tell me about your crush. That's fair, too. <laughs> Fine, okay. It's Ben. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Not the being literally next to each other. Their whole relationship just warms my heart. And it's okay, you don't have to. Not everyone deserves to know all of you, you know? It kills me slightly that Tori was just in her room the whole time. Like, was she sneaking down into the kitchen in the wee hours? Literally warms my whole heart. They are really out here making you believe in love. Slowly, slowly we're healing the Good Omen season two finale damage. Very slowly. Love y'all. You know my friend Nick? Oh, no. Yeah. I don't know if we want to bring these people in. Oh my god, once you tell them, the whole vibe is going to be shifted and they're not going to let him come over. I know it. I, I vote we don't say a single thing, in my opinion. Why does your dad look like Mark Ruffalo and Taika Waititi had a, a baby? He's a he's a very sporty, sort of laddish sort of boy. I, I, I wouldn't have assumed he was gay. <laughs> Being gay is nothing Called to stereotype, do ma'am. But it's fine. Gay or bisexual, uh, Nick is... I knew it. I knew it. And I suppose Nick's going on this Paris trip as well? No, actually, yeah. he's studying for his exams. We are not saying a single thing. Oh my god. 
Oh. That's why you've been talking about it nonstop for weeks. Maybe he just wanted to go to Paris. That is so depressing. You can't tell parents anything. Yeah. And you're not worried? I am worried. I'm worried enough for the both of them, to be honest. We just want people to know we're together. I'm gonna do everything I Tori can. Tori is so scared. Deal with what I do. God, because she was literally there. She saw the whole thing. And last episode, she was so so worried for him when she saw him in his little depression spiral. Oh no. Tori's like, I'm gonna have to be here to pick up the fallout of this if anything happens. I'm worried for you guys. Look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy. I can make sure that he never feels pressured, stressed. I don't know if that's possible. I'm so nervous. I don't think you could get through high school without feeling those feelings. Tori, she's so scared. You know what? I'm scared too. I am. I don't think I'd be as stressed if one, people hadn't commented on the season one video saying there's gonna be a lot of pain, and two, if the like TV14 warning did not explicitly list self-harm. That combo is making me very nervous, very stressed. Um, Tori's eyes watering up because she saw the fallout from the last bullying session. Oof. I'm sorry, what, what just happened here? Oof. I am stressed for them. Anyways, episode two. <laughs> his grades have been slipping across most of his subjects. Oh no! What is this and why is it happening in the exact, hello to the art teacher, why is this happening in the exact same room as everyone's meetings? Now other kids can hear what's happening with the other students' grades. This is stressing me out. Those look good well, to me. Was that supposed to be bad? <laughs> was a better fish than I could have drawn. It'll be fine. Olivia! That's good, isn't it? I think so, Olivia! Isaac's grades are always excellent. Hell yes. But I'd like to see him participate more. Why do I feel added? The thing is, Isaac is me. I am Isaac. You need to start focusing on your school. Oh my god. I do love that teacher's acting though, because even in his eyes, he's like, I care for you as a student. I'm rooting for you. I feel like the teachers care about these kids. I swear to god, if you blame the fact he's dating I know someone. Your first boyfriend is very exciting. Why did I know that's where this was going? You've been going round each other's houses almost every day for weeks, Charlie. It's no wonder you haven't done your coursework. Well, how about you just hang out at each other's houses and do the work together? It needs to be a complete ban. No, it doesn't. Olivia Coleman wouldn't do us like this, ma'am. Nick is not allowed around our house and you are not allowed around his. Okay, so the library feels like fair game. The library feels like a loophole. Let's meet up in the library. That dad is like, yo, don't sign me up for that. I was thinking they get home, they do their work, then they meet up for an hour, you know, after the work has been completed. And we, we say, oh, you did your work? Have fun. I wasn't here for the complete ban. <laughs> That's what that dad's look just said to the mom. Got a girlfriend yet? Olivia, the vibes are off. I'm so confused as to why your sweater is on backwards, Olivia, but I will not question you. If you want to start a trend, I will follow you. Maybe not that far, but I will support you. Just please don't tell me about Charlie. I won't, darling, don't worry. Olivia! Just the warmth radiating off of her. Uh, we got the depressed drum roll, please. Is your room soundproofed? That's the question banned me from hanging out with you at either of our houses. They said nothing about the library. You gotta get a little bit more creative, okay? You gotta get another phone too, just in case they take this one. An iPad will work too, but they can't know about it. And it would be better too if you use a different app than what you're usually texting because if they check your phone and see that messages have come up, that won't be great. So maybe like Instagram, iMessage, and then like a WhatsApp on the separate device. The universe, <laughs> they're coming for my Fitzsimmons heart with that. Oh, at least they can still Still make each other smile. The acting, 10 out of 10. You could see the tears in his eyes. Why'd you never do your homework? Listen, I'll do it next week. Oh, <laughs> again, random side character we've never seen before complaining about homework. Love that for you. Year 11 prom is happening. Oh my god! Prom! I'm so excited! <laughs> I love how the response was just squeals. Nick Nelson. They can all hear you is the most silent room I've ever hey. seen. I need you to actually chill. I feel uncomfortable whenever he is on the screen. No offense to him. I haven't seen you all day, so I wanted to say hi. See, now I am getting what your teachers are saying because you can't just leave glass for this. Is it okay with your brother and everything? They can all hear you. This is so quiet. I feel like I'm so much Same more stressed. Same social well, boys. Okay, sir. I feel like I'm back at school. I see you still as desperate as ever. Not another word from you, sir. We don't want to hear a peep. 
a beep. You hate me so much. It's true. Can't it's confirm. not my fault you liked me before you. You are so self-obsessed. I hate you because you literally assaulted him. And there we go. I don't particularly care if you fail your maths GCSE on Monday, but I ain't gonna let you disrupt everyone else's study time. That's fair. Fix up, man. Whatever you say, sir. That was just a misunderstanding. Do you hear yourself? I do want to come up. Right. I'll believe that when I see it. Can you stop talking to him? Uh, Charlie thinks you're this perfect boyfriend, but you are just the same as me. He literally is not. Oh my god. The ego. The ego. It hurts. Charlie? Who is Charlie? Is Can you is give Charlie it back? Your girlfriend? No, stop it. If you do have a girlfriend, I, I want to know about it. Mm -hmm. She needs my approval. She does not need your approval. It's the fact that life sucks so much and they can just find solace in each other. My whole ass heart and soul right here. I'm definitely gonna fail maths on Monday. <laughs> Want me to help you revise? We can go for your notes together. <laughs> I love them. I hope you don't fail. Okay, while y'all do that, I'm gonna Google what a GCSE is. Uh, what is the American equivalent of a GCSE? A high school diploma. Oh, oh, so it's just a test of graduate? Okay, well, y'all, you're fine. Oh, okay, I think the closest A-level equivalent is AP classes. But an A-level is not a GCSE. I'm so sorry, I feel like this is definitely something that I should have looked up in the time between seasons and not while the episode is airing. We should have stayed, we should have danced all night. What is this song? Because I need to add it to my Good Omens playlist. <laughs> oh my god, her outfit. Where do you shop for your clothes? Drop the links. I haven't even started. I'm gonna pay. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> this is art student solidarity right here. They don't want to go here for the parties. <laughs> they do throw really good parties here. <laughs> Not that kid. I'm sorry. Just the art student representation is also warming my heart so much. Here I could just. Be Naomi. Do you know what I mean? I really do. Why am I literally tearing up? I love them. Are they Jyoti Sankalesik Fano? This mother is a shipper. Love that for her. I'm sorry. The filming of this is killing me. And your exam starts <laughs> now. Why am I so stressed? No, you need all the time you can get, buddy. What happens if you don't complete? You just do summer school? Is that dyslexia or are you just having a panic attack? He's having a panic attack. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so stressed for him. It, literally, what's the worst case scenario? Do you just have to take summer school? I feel like I'm not understanding the gravity of what this is. Because they said it's the high school diploma. But I know there's also something called A-levels. Which may or may not be related to Ed Sheeran's A-team. I don't know if there's like a B-level. Like you gotta, you gotta do well on this, I'm assuming, to get into A-level. Like the vibes are giving AP classes. The end of the year AP test. Because it would be standardized throughout every school. But the internet made it seem like it was just a high school diploma level test. I'm so sorry, I am a stupid American. I don't know what the hell is happening in other countries' education systems. But I will be Googling it later. You did not come here just to ask me about my maths exam. Oh my god, I love the framing of this. This is so cute. Kind of busy. Oh no. Recently, I, I think we should just be honest and say- I was GCSEs and finishing my application piece for Lumber. It... I think we should just be honest too and say I liked you and I know you don't like me, which then he could refute, you know? And then he could be like, ah, oh, no, wait a second. Are you tired? Or is this movie just really boring? I did way more <laughs> movies. I love how they don't even need to have a specific Marvel movie. They could just have clashing sounds and we're just like, yeah, you know what? It's probably Thor. <laughs> the first Thor. But also I love that for them. <sighs> that is so funny to me. Hi. Uh, hi. hi. What was your name? Sorry. Am I brave enough to click play? Charlie. Oh, no. You're Charlie. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm David, sorry. David, sorry. Emphasis on sorry. Um, and where, where did you two meet? Oh, no. His worst nightmare. I just wanted to meet the guy that, you know, that turned my little brother gay. We're going to deep breath. I mean, I should have always known your dad had to be gay, really. I'm bi. Actually, and so what? I love how proud he is of it. Like, he, he straight up, every time anyone says anything, he corrects them. He's like, no, actually, whoa, you can't erase me. So, look, if you're gonna be gay, at least admit you're gay. Oh, God. Can we disown a sibling? Is it too late? What a load of absolute bullshit. David, please don't swear. He, he can't even admit he's gay. Olivia, I please. Mean, I, I bet you haven't told Dad yet, have you? I'm starting to see what y'all meant when you said the second season was painful. I'll text you later, okay? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. You guys got to escape. You got to focus on your studies so you can escape and live happily ever after in Paris together. I'm heartbroken. Sorry. 
Oh my god, he's apologizing. This is awful. Olivia, I know where the soap is. I know that's not an appropriate way to handle children. I also know that a college-aged kid is not a child. Where have you been? The library. I can vouch for him. Next, I assume. No, the library. You are grounded for the rest of this term. And, and don't even think about sneaking out or you won't be going on the Paris trip. Oh my god. You want some dinner? No. I had next. Oh, great. No, he's not eating. I mean, how could you? Like, I wouldn't have a stomach after this. Wait a second, this is the new generation. You guys could be FaceTiming this whole time. FaceTime with your phone and then both of you work individually. They are literally both blaming themselves. Also, I should have stood up to you. I feel like who in their moment would have their wits about them to be able to A, do that and also B, have the guts to even like get involved. Like that feels like a very family issue. Like I would never speak in someone else's house, but that's just, that's, that's a me problem maybe. Charlie. This is not your fault. Oh! Start recording. You need you need to listen to that just on a replay. But there are still awful people in the world, like my brother. Oh. God, this poor kid. I'm so worried about the trigger warning for self-harm. Thank goodness the trigger warning did not say suicide. Feeling very grateful for that right now. Ma'am, you and Olivia Coleman need to get lunch together. You guys are so kind. So when we lost him, I felt so unbalanced. Oh, gosh. It was like falling off a cliff. This poor woman. Oh my god. I've only had your spouse for 30 seconds, but I'm heartbroken. Well, I'm stuck here. Same old towel. Same old towel isn't so bad. Why are you not- he- he could be working on film school. Then you guys could be literally the artist power couple. You have to fight. Yes. To this mom knows what's up. For someone who watches as many movies as you do, you never got that message? Is this just the meetup? I like L. Okay? I love how Isaac is just sitting there drama free. You've all been laughing behind my back because I've been so oblivious. They all have so many issues right now. So this is a really selfish and stupid thing to do. It's not. But I'm going to tell her. That would have been so funny if Elle was literally in the shop. Help me. And just popped out. Oh, look at him coming for help though. I love that. God, his brother is so annoying though. Can we talk about that? What, what did he say his name? David? How do you get raised by Olivia Coleman and you turn out like that, David? Serious question. The montage in season one of them like going to each other's houses and like finding a safe place in each other's houses and just finding the comfort and the solace with each other. And then it's like the brother came home and like completely destroyed that. Completely destroyed that. His room isn't even safe anymore. <sighs> God, that's heartbreaking. Anyways, um, I will be back tomorrow to watch episode three. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh no. Nick tries to come out to some of his teammates. Are we sure? <laughs> Are we positive? Why, why do you hate me, Netflix? I love how they're like, hey, hey, you haven't watched Pride and Prejudice yet. Maybe you wanna do that. And the answer to you, Netflix, is I haven't read the book yet. I will ride or die for Emma, but I haven't yet read Pride and Prejudice, so I guess I am a fake Jane Austen fan. Anyways, please load, I beg thee. Okay, if you want me to, I'll restart my entire computer, but I'd prefer not to. All right, guys, can I just share this with you really fast? While I was waiting for my computer to reload, I was scrolling Tumblr. Spoilers for Good Omen season two. So if you haven't seen that, you know, skip ahead five seconds. But I just saw a post that said, I can't believe we all just got our flag means death when we thought we were gonna get heart stoppered. <laughs> Why is life like this, guys? Had to show that one because it hit a little bit too close to home. Anyways, it finally loaded. We're ready to watch. So episode three, let's go. I vote we don't come out to the teammates. I vote we just never focus on the teammates ever again. Oh, what if you go to a bookshop and like choose a book for each other and I would do a little reading Isaac! Day. Isaac, that's your dream date, not ours. Isaac, buddy, I would do that as a friend date. You want a friend date? I would literally do that. Me and who? Charlie, what do you and Nick do for dates? I mean, kiss. We to the beach. Oh, basic. <laughs> what else? Rude. I that's basic. They had to take a little train to get out there. That seems pretty, pretty intensive. If this date doesn't work out, then I lose my best friend in the whole world. Uh, that's very extreme. Isaac, do you want to just like recommend him some books to read for ideas? You can pull the ineffable husband's effect and just hand him a bunch of Jane Austen novels and say, here, get inspired. If we went to Ikea, like in 500 days of summer, hmm? Okay, well, hey, it was an idea. It's brainstorming, okay? We're not shitting on any ideas here. Why don't you do something like that, but instead of going to Ikea, you go to famous film locations all around England, and then you take a picture reenacting the scene that takes place in those film locations. And then you end with shakes and fries that you dip 
in the shakes. You see, I feel like that could be fun. And then you go to the bookstore and pick books for each other. Did you hear we're having an end of GCC party in the woods next week? In the woods? Gonna... You're having a party in the woods? Knit man, we're not friends with Harry and them anymore. Oh, yeah. wait, I love them. They said, we're not friends with Harry anymore. We dropped him when we saw his true character. We should have spoken up. Oh, I love them. You know what? I, they are not on my shit list. I know you and Charlie are really good mates. <laughs> that guy in the front. <laughs> he said, <laughs> mates. Good mates. <laughs> the equivalent of gal pals. Good mates. <laughs> that guy knows. He knows. I love them. Oh, is that me? Hi. Oh, it's okay. This woman is solidarity. She knows exactly what's up. <laughs> I love her. She's got your back 100 million percent. Don't worry. Come sit down, Nick. She's like, we can't be kissing in the supply room, though. I've sensed some distance has grown between you and most of the lads. That's because the lads are dicks. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I assume this has something to do with it. Oh, <laughs> she immediately saw that and said, you know what? I get it. I get it. There's bullying afoot. If you need me to kick some lads off the team, I got you. If any of the lads say anything out of line, you tell me immediately. Yes, right? ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Lots of lesbians in women's rugby. That's how I met my wife. We got the art teacher, we got her. Like these teachers are not letting these kids just flounder. You know, like they're like, hey, we're here as a support system. We've been through this and we wanna make sure you don't go through as much pain as we had to. And I just love that. Like their teachers are so supportive. None of the guys know about me, so. Um... Well, you don't owe them that information. Oh okay. my God, I love her to bits. Also, again, with me just relating to all of the grown-ups in these shows. I think it's just something I have to accept about myself. Also, I just noticed her basketball decor. Is that really the best way to store the basketball? <laughs> I wonder if those are all like winning games that they had and those are the balls they used in the winning games. You have until the end of the day. Babe, you gotta just bullshit it. What about your history coursework? I haven't helped you with that at all. Yeah, I vote we help him because he's it's gonna done. fail history. It is not done. James, isn't it your last exam today as well? Yep. Ah, the read with pride. Oh my god, wait, I have that book. I haven't read it yet. Oh, have you read this one? Of course I've read that one. It's one of my <laughs> Isaac has another friend. I am like just taking the bits and pieces we get of Isaac and I'm thriving. Tao, why don't you just be yourself? Okay, I feel so bad for him because we've all been there. We've all been trying to find the haircuts that match the face shape. I don't know why I'm so stressed about these exams. And with five minutes to spare. <laughs> all he needed was the deadline, you know? Yeah, okay, it's due in 30 minutes, I will get it done. It's due in two weeks, it's not happening. The exam has finished. Look, you guys pulled through. Yay, y'all are done. End of GCC's party, the woods they might have tonight. I'm sorry, does he realize how much of a horror movie that sounds? Yes, the end of year party in the woods. It's giving murder, but yeah, I, you know, what do I know? I love you because of how annoying you are. 10 out of 10. I didn't mean that in an I love you way, that. That was just a casual I love you. Oh no! Don't shift the vibes! Hey, sir! Oh. I think Rob should be fed by <laughs> Not the accidentally saying I love you and then her running away. Y'all, my heart! Are you also having regrets about signing up for this? Uh, it'll be a laugh, won't it? <laughs> I'm literally like, you know, we do have to watch like a bunch of kids, but we'll be in Paris, so the baguettes will be good. Did you want to come to that end of exams party tonight? Oh, um... No, I'll be reading. Yeah. Oh, he said yes. Wow. <laughs> and all your friends should come too, obviously. I think they've all got invitations already, but thank you, random, <laughs> random character for inviting the main friend group. Everyone. You need the PE teacher. Quiet. Oh my god. I forgot how loud this man is. Oh, Imogen. She has like no friends. That's heartbreaking. Oh. <laughs> what the Isaac. <laughs> Hi. Uh... These. The outfit, 10 out of 10. The hair, 10 out of 10. The flowers, 10 out of 10. I like you, romantically. Oh my god, we're getting communication! I guess I was sort of hoping... I've been sort of wondering if... you like me back? Oh my god, the acting is just 10 out of 10! Because, like, he's so nervous. Oh my god, wait, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe we could go to the cinema. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Also, just the concept of him standing outside as everyone left, just waiting for that friend group. The heart in the background. Whoever was location scouting for this show, I just, 10 out of 10, you're amazing. Because every 
every single location is so cute. The cinematography with each scene, like this is so cute. Oh, the sparks. Come on then. <laughs> we're running. <laughs> oh, we're running. Look after him or you die. Tori. I believe it. What's up? Well, he did just get a death threat, you know. I'm very nervous by that like giant pile of wood. Please don't tell me they're gonna start burning it. I don't know if I trust these high schoolers to have checked for hedgehogs. Same. <laughs> Did this movie theater fly to Texas to get the popcorn? What is that? This is so intense and for what? It kills me because they were literally besties and now it's like so awkward. But your bestie dynamic would have been strong enough to carry it. I gotta just let these youngsters figure life out on their own though. I need to talk to you guys. Right now, this is like the worst time. I would be having a panic attack. This is awful. Stop touching him. Oh my god. I just think that's probably Wes Anderson's least technically good movie from like a story perspective. Tao, this is kind of ruining the choice of the movie. If we're going on a date, we should do something we both enjoy. Yeah, that's fair. Tao just tried to do what he could. Same at the tent. See, now they came prepared. You've gone off with your new friends and have forgotten I exist completely. You're the one who said we'd always put our friendship first. Well, I guess romance does ruin friendship. We literally just tried one date, okay? Why are we yelling? You can still have a nice time with the friend group and honestly, their energy might be welcome because the vibes right now are kind of awkward. We could have just accepted it and then talked to her later. I don't know why everyone is talking during this, my anxiety would be way too high with all these people. And a giant fire. He is like so afraid of losing her, but he's holding on way too tight. I'm fundamentally unlikable. Don't say that. Oh my God, no. He really was just nervous. I'm gonna go home. Oh, Tao. He really was trying though. Like he did try. Like if he honestly thinks he's unlovable, like no wonder he tried to change everything about himself for this date. You could maybe do a second date, a do-over date. I think we should Go with Tao, to be honest. Charlie. Hi. Wrong sibling. Where's Charlie? That is the question. I lost him. Sorry. You said you'd look after him. Okay, well, it's a large I'm crowd. Not keeping your promises, are you? Well, that was so rude, and for what? I'll find him. Oh my god, I think you should go in the woods and throw up because you're looking like you might pass out. Maybe you should sit with Tori. I would not look or feel well during this event either. You're bisexual, so you're gonna cheat my brother. Are you sure you're not just gay? Oh my god, I just can't at them. I wish they could just stay in their little rooms of safety and not deal with the bullying. He's gonna pass out. I promised you were gonna come out. No! Oh my god, no! Not him being like, you promised you'd come out because of what Tori just said about not keeping the promises. But the thing is, he also said multiple times, like, you don't have to. You don't have to. Oh. God, I'm so anxious for these kids. You okay? He's not. He's gonna pass out. I feel really ill. I'm taking you home. That's a good idea. Oh, you're a star. Are you okay? <laughs> Olivia! Sorry, this is not Olivia Coleman's show, but every time she shows up, I just, I can't help but smile. Not past your curfew, though. I don't want to get you in trouble with your parents. Olivia! You so lucky to have you, Charlie. She's so supportive. She's so supportive. I made you tea. <laughs> like a proper grandpa. I'm sorry. What's that? I told her. I couldn't. You have nothing to apologize for. Oh, oh my god, love that. I think there's this idea that when you're not straight, you have to tell all your friends and family immediately. Like you owe it to them. But you don't. But you don't. You can literally just be yourself, you know, and live your happy moments for you. Maybe we should forget the coming out plan for a while, really. Yes, because you look like you're about to literally pass out by the concept of it, which means it's not right. We can just be us. Yeah. That's so nice. And also if you're in the room with like Tao and Isaac, they already know, so you can still like cuddle in the hotel room. Part of me just wants everyone to know you're my boyfriend. I don't know why we can't just hold hands in Paris anyways, and then they can figure it out themselves. Oh my god. <laughs> the way he said everything right, but he's still sad about it because he, he knows like you can't rush someone coming out, but he's still like, I just want to be proud of my boyfriend and show him off. Oh, look at him. 
It's okay, buddy. It's not that he's not proud of being your boyfriend. I think he just has mad anxiety, like terrible anxiety. And I feel like on top of that, like they have been so stressed with everything with exams, everything with his brother, like, ah. But also there's the element of like, some people truly do not deserve to know the full you. And there's no shame in not letting them know the full you, you know, like that's their problem. And I feel like he's out with the people who matter, your entire friend group, his mother, heck, even his brother. Do we need to get the sports players on board? Heck, he's even out with this, the coach. I just feel like the people that matter, like your loved ones, you know, they know. When he was on the street going to the beach, he was out. He didn't know any of those people. Like, it's just the fact that they literally have bullies in their life. And it's like, do we need the bullies to know everything about them. Okay, episode four looks like it's gonna be the Paris trip though, so I'm so excited. Please, this is gonna be aesthetic as all heck, I feel like. Hey, can I help you with that? Oh, thank you. Uh, Cute. Probably shouldn't sit next to each other on the couch. Okay, y'all, it can be the exact same as it's always been. You can still sit with each other on the bus. Oh my God. It could be fun. How? Being a secret again. Y'all could still sit with each other on the yeah. bus. I bet you can't last two days without kissing me. <laughs> Y'all have been kissing in some bly room closets. You're not telling me the Notre Dame doesn't have like secret little rooms you can pop into and kiss. I'm just saying. Nothing has to change between the vibes you were at now. You can still sit with each other on the bus. You can still find secret little alcoves to kiss. Like, come on, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> what do you mean? Can I just say, sorry, I understand that this show is not about Isaac, but I love how all of his friends are constantly like, oh, what are you reading? Like, they literally care about including Isaac and his interests. Elle, did you want to sit next to Tom? No. I'm gonna sit with the girls. Like, okay, well, I was almost passed out at the bonfire, something went down. So, if I pack too much and it's a patriarchy, it might be I'm sorry, what did Imogen just say? Did she just say, if I pack too much, it's the patriarchy? Do I even want to turn subtitles back on to see? You know what? No, I don't. Whatever you said, Imogen, it's gonna stay between you and the universe. Quiet! I swear, this man. Thank you, Mr. Farouk. <laughs> uh, right, is everyone ready to leave for Paris? <laughs> Can you imagine getting to go to Paris? How did you know that you liked him in that way? I just always wanted to be around him and I literally could not stop thinking about kissing him. Are we getting a little bit of ace rep with Isaac? Because I feel like, I feel like it's a very relatable question. What are we doing? So the bus goes on the train. On the train, yeah. We were over here thinking the opportunity to go to Disney or like Universal for physics day was amazing. Meanwhile, you're telling me there are kids who get to go to Paris. <laughs> okay, y'all are living life so lucky. I'm sorry, what is happening here? How do you literally know French? I'm shooketh. What the hell was that? Same. My dad. Oh my God, your dad. He lives in Paris. That does seem like someone Olivia Coleman would date. Are we under the water? Yeah. Then why can't we see any fish? <laughs> I think that was a valid question. <laughs> I cannot believe we're literally in Paris. Look at this. What the heck? <laughs> this is so neat. The shot. Cinematographer came through. <laughs> Look at that. Navi literally about to text my friend like, do you want to go to Paris? Can you imagine being the hotel staff and seeing all of these children come in? Do you need a hand? No. Okay, Elle is like cold shouldering. Well, I'm up in the window, but I want the other bed. Same at Isaac immediately going to the window. Immediately. Why am I Isaac? <sighs> Y'all, wait a second. You guys can't let them sleep together? <laughs> what is this? On the bus, he went to Tao and said, oh, do you want to sit with Elle? Like he was ready to give up his seat for Elle to support you guys. You should be sleeping with Isaac, Tao. I thought you'd find it awkward sharing with Nick. I thought you'd find it awkward sharing with him. That is personally not the logic I would have come with. Standing next to him makes me feel like I'm being electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, um, we're in very different stages of our relationship. I don't know what to tell you. We're in Paris. They're being sad. Come on. <laughs> That's fair. <sighs> this looks incredible. Can I just also say I absolutely love how their friend groups are completely fine sharing the bed. Like when I was in high school and we had to go to like a tournament competition or whatever and you'd have to share the room. Like the girls would obviously 
be totally fine sharing a bed. We'd all be like, all right, yeah, we're sharing a bed. And then we'd wake up and the guys would be like, no, we didn't sleep at all. Like I was on the ironing board. He was in the bathtub because we didn't want to share a bed. In what world? Why would you pull out the ironing board to sleep on top of that instead of just being on the hotel bed? I truly cannot imagine living life like that. But I love to see the younger generation seems to have scrapped that entirely. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the fact that teachers have to share a room is sending me. They must be here for long, they're unpacking. I feel like y'all should have gotten your own rooms, but I understand the budget. The vibes here are so awkward. <laughs> I cannot believe y'all are separated. Can you sleep holding hands? Now, if they wake up and they see that they fell asleep holding hands, I really hope they say you guys can share the bed. Oh my God, look at the leaves. Oh my god, look at that. He's got a renewed sense of life. Go on, do it. Let me see it. <laughs> the way he just dropped it and didn't say a single thing, because they're still besties. He's like, we're still besties! Okay, I still care about you a lot. I just don't know how to exist. I love that, actually. He's like, okay, good, she dr oh my god, y'all. She's like, you know what, I did yell at him for not being himself. But now I've just realized that he himself is a very awkward person. And you know what, look at that, he's back to normal. I wanted to share a bed with you. Yeah, I think we should just kick Tao to the other side. Charlie, you two coming up. Oh, you're being gay. Good job. <laughs> Cold star. Well, at least I've not lost this challenge yet. Oh, oh, you're gonna lose. Just you wait. Oh god, you guys are killing me. I think the hotel room should account. Because you have hotel rooms in England, you know? We should get one of those padlocks and write your initials on it. You joking? Okay, can you not ruin this trip for Imogen? Can we free Imogen? Free Imogen. She wore a cute little beret. So lame. You're lame and rude. Imogen, you don't deserve that. I need a drink, an alcoholic drink. Probably shouldn't drink alcohol. <laughs> He's like, we are watching children. I need a crossing then. That's fair. He's like, yeah, we can get that in a coffee. We're good. What's the plan? Then what about the museum? Master? That we were just walking. I don't know. I think museums are kind of boring. Yeah. We Darcy. Why don't you two go together then? We can meet you in a couple of hours. Isaac, <laughs> stop grinning, Is buddy. Sure. Yeah, look, it's a proper date because you guys actually both care about that. The shared interests. Y'all can just kiss. Literally, there's no one here who isn't already in your friend group and knows. I just, this is killing me. This is killing me. Y'all are in Paris. Enjoy it. Thanks for inviting me to hang out with you guys. My friend just wanted to go find the nearest McDonald's. <laughs> this kid needs new friends. They went to Paris and wanted to find McDonald's. It's nice just to be around other gay people. You guys have such a cool friendship group. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the fact that they are just known as the gay group on campus. Like y'all, you guys could be perfectly fine being yourselves. I feel like the rugby players already know anyways. It's fine. Je suis en voyage scolaire. C'est dingue, vous avez pas d'accent, c'est tout, bravo, bravo. Ah, merci. Um, since when could you speak French like an actual French person? <laughs> I know, it's coming in handy. You're out and you can hold hands and kiss and... You don't need a proper coming out telling everybody. You can just exist as you and they can figure it out. You're gonna be great. And even if you're not great, I'll still think you're great because I always think you're great. Oh wait, that's so sweet. Me and her are all that mattered. <laughs> I love them. I'm jealous of you and Nick in some ways too. You both talk about your feelings. I'm in love with their solidarity here. I said I love you to her. She didn't say it back. Maybe she didn't even want no, to. No, I think she wants to and she's just so scared. Oh. I'm still full from breakfast. There's always room for dessert. I didn't eat that much breakfast. Yeah, I did. Oh, no. And he didn't eat... Was it last episode? The episode before? He didn't eat. Mmm. Not liking the vibes. Not liking where that's going. It's ice cream. Please eat that. Please. It's not bad. <laughs> He's like, you've held it for five seconds. How did this happen? Look at that. Y'all literally love each other. I love them. This is like the cutest freaking museum I've ever seen. I'm happy you're making new friends, but I just get in my head about being left behind and alone. Our friendship is really important to me. I'm so glad they're finally communicating. This is a perfect kissing location, but... I've always played yeah. the part of Shakespeare. <laughs> this song. What is this song? I'm adding it to every playlist. This is so cute. Are they the only ones at this museum? 
Imagine living somewhere like this and just being able to paint all day. I was literally about to say the same thing. Look at him. Y'all can be the artistic power couple. I see it. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Tao is my life. <laughs> this is the most relatable Tao has ever been. <laughs> He's getting down with them. I love that. This is me taking photos of random people when they ask. It's like they wanted one picture. They're getting 40 different angles up and down, you know, side to side. We're getting portraits. We're getting landscape. You will be tired of me and regret the decision to ask me to take your photo. But I love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> Can we adopt Imogen into the friend group? Because she looks miserable. Do you guys mind if I hang with you for a bit? Yes, thank Ben's you, Imogen. So boring. Of course not. Sure. Yeah, it's all free. <laughs> They're all like, thank God. <laughs> See the light. Let's go Let's together then. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs> I love Imogen. <laughs> it's like he doesn't even want to hang out with oh, me. Oh god, now we have to listen to your relationship drama. Do you even like him? It's a good question to ask. I just realized Imogen is really short. Like really short. Is she in the fours? I don't want to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm afraid she'd actually be like my height. Maybe everyone else is just very tall, but I don't think I realized she was this short. I think being honest is best than living with regret. Imogen, you've just joined this group. I can't at her. Oh. Uh, not on you. Yeah. Like, I'm serious, people. I get bloated. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's not eating, and it's really alarming me. I haven't spoken to you properly in ages. How did he end up sitting next to him? I'm not interested in how my day was then. Okay, Imogen, yes, take the heat off. Why are you in the mood with me? Because you're supposed to be my boyfriend. <laughs> Not the whole restaurant quieting. I don't know why you're obsessed with Charlie. Oh my god, this is mortifying. All I know is you're a terrible boyfriend, and I deserve better. The person in the background? <laughs> no, okay, I'm glad you're standing up for yourself, Imogen, but was this the time and the place? Your energy's off. I'm breaking up with you. Your energy is off. <laughs> You don't have to be such a bitch about it. Yeah, Benjamin, language. Oh, yeah. got a point, man. Pipe down. Hello, everyone was like, she's standing up for herself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no need to call her a bitch. Oh, now you're... Is that Harry? <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend like I don't slightly enjoy the fact that the entire restaurant was laughing at him, but I am afraid of what that means. Like, that breakup could have happened quietly one on one but it's fine well now that restaurant has something to talk about for the entire paris trip Ugh, everything would be so much easier if i was into girls the way she just said that how did she into girls which i feel like is not something straight people say that feels like a pipeline Oh <laughs> wait, I really love them. They're so supportive. Their whole friend group is so supportive. It's truly no one gets left behind. Why would she ever like me anyway? What do you She's mean? So cool and interesting and beautiful. And not... I'm just me, you know. That's so sad. Now it explains the wiki how haircut. I thought you didn't even like me. I do like you, Tao. <laughs> Tao is out here pretending Maybe. like he did not have the most hostile energy in season one. You care about your friends, so loudly oh he does that is a good way to put that see he's such a better person than me i was like he was coming in with hostile energy and he's like you care about your friends loudly oh god he's so optimistic uh, i'm gonna go get something from the vending machine the fact that he can't even really take that compliment like he has to immediately leave the scene everything he said is true but it's one of those things where it's like can he even believe that about himself that is the cutest thing ever also him Getting a picture of him eating that ice cream as if he did eat it. I love how they translated that. Bonjour X. Hello X. I literally love them. They are each other's support system. Oh my god, Nick, you giant run now. Oh, look at them. And he initiated it. You taste like toothpaste. <laughs> the first time we kissed at your house. Oh my god, he knew. Oh my god, the editing. I wish I knew how to animate like that. We should stop. We're gonna get caught. Cool. Tao and Isaac already know. Oh god, this is beautiful. Beautiful shot. Not Isaac sleeping with the book on his face. Sir, you gotta get some air. Oh, here we <laughs> It's no biggie. I'm sure someone in your friend group has makeup that is your shade. That is such a solvable crisis, it's not even funny. I also feel like he was not kissing that much to have that much of a mark for that long because it would have lasted all night. But I really love them. Like this Paris trip, oh, the vibes, impeccable. Although there is just like an underlying, 
you know, layer of depression that seems to be following them around. But Paris itself, beautiful. Um, these shots, I love them. Like, the cinematography is gorgeous. Hello, welcome to my floor. Um, please ignore my hair. It's... 100 degrees outside. It's doing the best it can. I am here because I never actually filmed an outro because originally I was hoping to put all eight episodes in the one video, but seeing that four episodes is about 50 minutes, um, I think that would just be an excessively long video, so I'm gonna split it into two. So this is the end of part one, and part two will be coming as soon as I finish editing it, I promise. Um, spoiler warning, I sobbed through the entire last three episodes. I don't know what the heck that footage is gonna look like, but I'm a little nervous to edit it. Um, I was sobbing. Sobbing, guys. Anyways, that is a part two problem, though. Uh, part one is officially done. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this part one video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some fun watching along with me. Um, if you did, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you want more movie and fandom-related content, and I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.